Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Windows 7 computer into a Windows Time Server. The first thing I'm going to do is to stop the Windows Time Service if it is running. To do that, click on Start, Control Panel, System and Security, Administrative Tools, and Services. Scroll down and find Windows Time. I'm going to right click on Windows Time and click Stop. Okay, next I'm going to open the registry editor and modify two values. To open the registry editor, click on Start, type regedit, that's R-E-G edit. Okay, I'm going to start at the top to show you how to navigate to the correct folder. Um, start with H key local machine and then system then current control set which mine had already expanded services and W32 time Mine had already expanded as well. On W32 time, uh, expand time providers and click on NTP server. Double click on enabled and change the value to 1. And click OK. OK, next, um, back in the W2 time folder, click on the config folder. Double click on announce flags and change the value to 5. Mine was already at 5, yours may be at A if it has not been changed before. And click OK. OK, you can close the registry editor. OK, next I'm going to unblock uh, two ports. To do this, I'll go to Windows Firewall click on advanced settings click on inbound rules I'll click on new rule click on port click next it's UDP will be selected and then type port 123 it's port 123 click next make sure allow the connection is selected next I'll go with all the defaults next I'll just call this UDP123 incoming and click finish. Okay, I'm going to create an outbound rule as well. So select outbound rules, click on new rule, select port, click next, select UDP, type 123, next, allow the connection, next, Go with the defaults. I'll call this UDP outbound 123 and click finish. Okay, you can close out of the Windows firewall and security screen. Next, we'll start Windows time again. To get to it again, click on start, control panel, system and security, administrative tools, services, Scroll down to Windows Time, right click, click Start. I'm also going to modify Windows Time so that it will start automatically. R to do this, right click on Windows Time, click on Properties. Under Startup Type on the General tab, change it from Manual to Automatic. And click Apply and OK. And that's all there is to it. There are a number of free software tools that you can use to check your NTP status and to ensure that it's working correctly. I'll show you how to obtain just one of these. I'll just go to Google and search for NTP server tool. Uh, on the site ntp-time-server.com 
There's a free tool. I've used it before and it seems to be good. Just click download this free utility now. Once downloaded, install it. I just use all the default settings. Okay, on this tool, you'll enter the IP address of the NTP server that you want to check. Just type the IP address in. You can select uh, the number of times you want to query the NTP server. You can say one or five or, or whatever number you would like and press the query button. This tool will then send a time request to the NTP server and show the values. 